Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here. Welcome to another edition of a thrift haul. Uh, this has been another amazing week of me picking up items during the week and I wanted to share with you what I found. Uh, if you're returning to the channel, thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the bell so you know when I'm coming out with new videos. All right, I got everything laid out on the counter. Um, there's gonna be two different sections to this video because uh, I got so much stuff it won't all fit on the counter at one time. So all right, let's jump right in. All right, so the first pickup is this uh, JVC VHS DVD recorder. Um, comes with the remote, HDMI cord. This is a really good one. I'm restricted on Amazon, so I should be able to sell this one on eBay for around $150 plus shipping. Pick this up on Facebook Marketplace for $40. So nice pickup. I also got 100 uh, VHS tapes that are like recorded movies. They're out in the garage. Looks like I can sell a box of those for like $20 plus shipping each. So I'll be able to sell two boxes of those, get my money back, and this will be 100% profit. So awesome pickup there. Uh, all these video games right here were a Facebook Marketplace meetup uh, purchase also. I paid $35 for all these games. The main reason I bought it was for this one right here, the Scooby-Doo Mystery. This game alone is worth 40 bucks. The rest of them are anywhere between like five, like some of these, like this NHL game is really not worth a lot, but Wheel of Fortune I think is worth 10, Family Feud is worth 10, Frogger I think might be worth 15. Here's another, another Scooby-Doo, this one's just the SNES ver version, um, that's probably worth around 15. So definitely going to make all my money back on this game and the rest of this will be all pure profit. So um, not, not a bad pickup there, definitely keep an eye out on your Facebook uh, marketplace. Uh, then I picked these up at the Goodwill. These are Bates camouflage boots. Um, they're like a military type style boot. I should be able to get 30 to 40 for those and I paid $6. All right, we've got some pretty cool clothing items this week. Um, so we'll start out with this Bourbon Street Harley Davidson, almost like a Halloween type shirt. Here's the front. And then here's the back. It's got these really, really cool graphics on it. Um, it was made in, uh, looks like 2010. So I should be able to get, I'm thinking around $30 for this. Only one other person has one listed and they're asking 25 plus shipping for theirs and it's not even the same as mine. I think mine's got a little bit cooler graphics. Mine's a bigger size. I think this is a 2XL. So hopefully 30 or more for this. I got this at a thrift store for $3. All right, next up, I picked up this blazer. Um, when, I, when I was going through the blazers and I grabbed this one, I could tell it was just really made out of good quality material. And I looked at the name and I'd never heard of it. It is Carl Lagerfeld, probably butched that, uh, Paris. Um, this is a wool and cashmere blend. That is anytime you've got cashmere in your blazers, that's a good selling point. Uh, I looked some of these up, some of them, Sold for 40, 50, some sold for 100, so no idea. Um, this one came from another little small thrift store near me. Um, I paid $5 for this. All right, here's another good find. Uh, this came from another little small thrift store near me. Uh, these were five bucks also. These are Rock Revival jeans. Um, Rock Revival always has the name of the jean. This one's called the Moscow Straight, size 34. Rock Revival jeans sell really well for me and are pretty uh, highly desirable. If you can ever find these jeans for a decent price, you definitely want to pick them up. Um, there's your uh, there's your Rock Revival logo. Yeah, these things are super nice. I don't know if it's missing a button right here or if it's made. I think it's made like that, maybe. Or ma that might be a repair. I'll have to look and see. But either way, uh, for $5, uh, I should be able to get anywhere between $40 up to a, probably $80 for these. If this button is actually missing and this is a repair where they just sewed it, then I'm probably going to take a little bit off, get around the 40 range, but if that's the way it's supposed to be, which I don't think it is, um, then I should be able to get 60 or 70 for these. So Rock Revival, be sure to keep an eye out for those. All right, then last up is a suit. We got the jacket and we got the pants back here. Um, I am very picky in suits. I will only pick up high-end brands, and this is definitely a high-end brand. This is Hickey Freeman for Nordstrom's. Um, I paid, got this from the Goodwill. I paid $14.99 for this uh, suit. I'm thinking I can get anywhere from 60 to 100 for this. Um, it's got the navy blue, which is very popular. Um, it doesn't have a you know horrible pattern to it. So I really think I can get 
you know, 60 to 100 for this suit. So we'll see how we do. All right, let's take a look at what else I got. All right, and here is the rest of the stuff. Some more really, really cool things to resell online. Uh, we'll just start over here on this end. This is an aromatherapy sleep machine. This might be a little bit of a bolo item. It's made by LifeWise. I only found one that sold for um, like $23 plus $10 shipping, and it was used. This is brand new on the inside, still factory sealed. So I might reach for 50 or above on this, and I paid $3.99. I thought these two things were cool. Uh, kind of wish I wouldn't have picked them up now. Um, did some quick research. Um, these are from Norwegian Cruise Line. These are Tiki glasses. Um, somebody has these exact same set of two uh, for 25 bucks. I paid $1.50 each, so I'm in them for $3 after you ship those. There's not a whole lot of money to be made there. Um, so yeah, maybe I shouldn't have picked those up, but I thought they were pretty cool. and thought maybe I could get you know, a little bit of money out of them. Uh, here we have some ink. This box right here, if you ever run across ink, Epson like this. I've sold a ton of this stuff and it always sells super quick. Uh, paid, oh, it came in this bag with a power cord for some reason. Don't ask me, I don't know why. $2.99 for the whole bag. Um, that's just a regular uh, six foot power cord. <laughs> I might be able to sell it, it's brand new, but uh, I should be able to get 25 out of this. It did expire in April, so you know, this year. So that'll definitely be $25 pretty easily. All right, y'all know about Skechers, right? Skechers, I have sold a ton of Skechers. Um, these things are money in the bank, shorty what you drank. What? Uh, <laughs> uh, I paid $7.99 for these. I'll be able to get $30, $35. Um, probably gonna aim for $35. Look at the bottoms on those. Look like they've rarely been used. Uh, although the heels of them have a little bit of wear back here. So uh, 30 to 35 range on those and they'll usually sell pretty quick. Um, I've sold this before. This is really cool. This is made by a company called Circle S and they're uh, out of Dallas, Texas. If you ever run across these and you can get them for a decent price, definitely go ahead and grab them. Uh, I paid $8.99 for this. I should be able to get 35, 40, somewhere in that range. This is a nice gray with a black color, so that should sell really well. Looks like it's never even been worn. I mean, it's a phenomenal condition. Uh, here's one that eh, maybe I shouldn't have picked up. It was four bucks. I thought it was super neat. It's got US written on it. Um, it's called a uh, sea bag is what some of them were called. I, I called it a duffel sea bag. It's even got straps to go over your shoulders. Um, I thought for $4, this would be a home run. You know, I was thinking $50, $60, but honestly, it looks like only $20, $25 with this. It will roll up and fold up pretty easily. Uh, should ship for um, not too terribly much, but I uh, wish I would have looked this one up. Although, you know, just one of them things where I'm like, man, this is super cool. It's got to be worth some good money, but unfortunately it wasn't. And then back here, we got three sealed board games, which I have not found anything sealed in a long time. And then some Legos. So... We've got this keepsake puzzle. This is brand new sealed. It's two puzzles in one. I got it for $5. There are none on Amazon right now. So I'll probably put that one on Amazon for 50 and see what happens. It does have a high rank of a million, but since there's none on there, that could have driven the rank up since none have been available to sell. But it's got a good theme. It's 500 pieces. You got the Statue of Liberty. You got Mount Rushmore. Those two are iconic items, and I should be able to get around 50 for that, if not more. Uh, here's a brand new sealed game called Buzzword. Paid $4 for it. I think this one sells for $16. I'll just net like $5 net profit from Amazon on that. Uh, here's a pretty good one. This is the 80s Seen It game. Most of your Seen It games are not worth money, but I can tell you like your Disney ones and then obviously this 80s one is worth some good money. This one was like dirt cheap for my goodwill. $1.99. Um, this thing sells brand new on Amazon for I think $46. Uh, I'll have to sell mine is used like new because um, there's a little tear right here in the plastic. Um, and I just don't mess around with that with Amazon. If it's not perfect mint condition, I, I'm not gonna sell it as new. Um, and then here with some Legos, I guess my Goodwill looked over these. Unfortunately, these are not extremely valuable. I don't even know if it's complete in here. I haven't taken it out. It was $2.99. 
Sounds like there's a lot of stuff in there. Maybe somebody left a million bucks for me and I can just retire. Um, <laughs> I doubt it. But uh, yeah, it looks like I can get used 20 bucks for this. Maybe 15, 20, somewhere around there. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you caught some brand names that'll help you out while you're out there thrifting. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment below, and if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I'm coming out with new videos. As always, hope everybody out there is having a great week and good luck reselling. Thank you.